on with today's job. So now the fireplace is all in and it's set perfectly. It's looking brilliant. We need to crack on with the insert. Now, this one, luckily, we'd got when we took the like the insert part out on the third floor because we needed to get a bigger stove in there. So we took it out and we kept it aside just thinking if we ever would need it. And luckily it has came in handy. So I've polished it all up, got it all clean again now. Next job is to start building the brick part so it actually looks like it's a, a fireplace. And then we can look at putting some sort of front on it. Now, we're not too sure exactly what we're going to do with that yet. If we're going to tile it or if we're going to just plasterboard it and then do sync with it to make it look like this or the others really. But yeah, so far so good. That it's, it's just completely transforming this room now. So all we're going to do, more of the bricks that we took out of the wall. We've just cleaned our limb down. I've got loads here stacked up already. So we've cleaned them all down. We're just going to cement them all in, build it up so far, and then once that's done, we'll put a probably a bit of black spray paint on just so it looks like it's a bit older, so it's been charred a little bit. So this isn't going to be a working fireplace anyway, it's just purely ornamental, um, just to, to give the room a focal point really. So yeah, I'll crack on with that now. I'm going to measure up exactly where I need the centre point of it and then go from there. Flashback to the day that you went away You said to see your family But I ran into you yesterday And you never saw it coming, baby I knew you knew what I thought or Did you leave or not? You said that you meant to but you forgot And I never saw it coming Should have been so easy But I feel incomplete So I've been quite happily working away outside and then the weather's turned. <coughs> so this year we've moved our beds. We did have them right the far way away from the chateau and it wasn't ideal. Um, they were a nightmare to maintain, it was too far away. So this year we're gonna try and be organized and Terry and Tracy on an ingenious day out when they went to Mayos found these strange little things. Now, I know it looks really weird, um, what could we use them for? But they're gonna be ideal for, for growing um, our lettuce and our strawberries in. So, idea being, we're going to have these little pots. I'm gonna spray paint all these so that the root balls don't get damaged. Obviously, with them being see-through, um, the sun would damage the roots. So, what I'm gonna do is spray paint them all 
What we're also going to do though, to make it easy, easily uh, manageable down there, is we're going to set up some um, irrigation systems. So it waters it four times a day for us so we don't have to think about it. The only thing we'll have to really think about is weeding it. So my job today is going to be spraying these, get them all covered, get it all set up, get it all looking nice, and then we'll get them set down there and, and see what we can do with them. The insert in, all sorted now, and already it's looking brilliant. It's really coming together now, and actually looking like a proper fireplace, which I'm just so excited how it's turned out. So we've got all of the brick in now, and I'd managed to offset some of them. Couldn't do it on all of them because the bricks that we had had holes in, so we only had a few left that were whole bricks to sort of stagger it so it looked like it had been properly built, really. So we've mapped this around done now, so that's all solid and gone off. The next stage now is to start making the insert um, around it. All we're going to do is we've got some plasterboard, so we're just going to cut that down and try and work that into shape. And we'll stick that on, and then once that's done, I think we're going to look at trying to gloss it, just so it gives like a high sheen finish, so it looks a little bit more like the, the porcelain ones that we've got. Um, and then go from there really. If it looks a bit naff and we're not too happy with it, we'll look at doing St. Kells. So yeah, let's see what we can do and go from there.
So it's been another amazing few days. Just sunshine and makes such a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the first bit of proper sun that we've had in God knows how long. Six months at least. Yeah. <laughs> and we've just been obviously cracking on with so many different things. So I finished off the fireplace, which looks out of this world. It really does. And to see it like this. And for all that you asked, no, there isn't a chimney in it. Um, we've got a solution for it and it's fumeless. It's yeah. good. So this is purely ornamental. It was never planned to be a working fire. Obviously, as you would have seen when we took the panel off, the fireplace is further along. So this isn't going to be a working fire as such. We are going to have a fire in it, aren't we? But it's a special one. So you'll see that further along the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go with like an eco-friendly fire um, to, to put in there. But yeah, it's fantastic how it's all come together. So while I've been busy with that, you've been busy in the garden. Yeah, I've been busy outside. It's been amazing. You know me, I'm, I was born to be outside. So it's just when the sun's shining like this, there's no better place. There's nowhere in the world I'd rather be. Yeah, just good to get out. Yeah. And our little alien pods. Yeah, have worked out fantastic. <laughs> they really have. Yeah. Obviously, we picked those up from in my house quite a while ago. We've just seen them. And me and mum had the same idea and we just thought it would be great to create a, a like an upright plant garden. basically we have we have issues with squirrels and the chickens and the steal our fruit and veg so to have them up yeah because we've hardly got any straw we've got 10 strawberry plants and we hardly got a strawberry last year because the chickens come and steal them all yeah <laughs> we had one strawberry out of all of it and the same with the lettuce so we had beautiful lettuce at the beginning of the year and then the lizards come and the chickens and yeah we had none so <laughs> Creating these upright planters, it's... There is method in our madness. Yeah. Obviously, one, it helps with space. Two, it helps with, obviously, pests eating them. Mm -hmm. And three, it's great now because the way that they water them, each one falls into the next one. Yeah. So we only have to water the top ones and then I'll do this watery. And we, that. we waste no water. After I'd finished filming and everything, I attach little tubes underneath at the very bottom ones that will fill a watering can. So we yeah. just leave watering cans underneath and we lose none of the water. No. So it's just become a perfect, really perfect solution for down there. And it's near to where we are. We can manage it and stay on top of it. We'll have so much fruit and veg. Yeah, it is. It's brilliant. So I hope to give you a couple of ideas of how to <laughs> think differently about growing stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, it's been fun. I've, I've loved it. It's been a, like a really fun few days for me just to do something different I've never done out like that before so and I've never done anything like this before so it's been good yeah. so yeah hope you've enjoyed it hope you've got some ideas from us and some inspiration if you have please hit the like button hit the subscribe button let us let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you in the next video yeah. bye bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.